Hello, Mystery Quilters. It's Deborah from the Murder Mystery Quilt, and I am delighted to welcome you to the 2024 Murder Mystery Quilt, Murder in Greece. So many of us grew up reading Greek myths in school and seeing photographs of how beautiful Greece is. A lot of us as adults are dreaming of the day that we will finally get to see the Greek islands. Every photograph seems to be incredibly beautiful. Greek culture and art has influenced the world over, and there's so much there to explore. So I'm delighted to welcome you to Murder in Greece through the Murder Mystery Quilt with our Greek art inspired quilt and our mystery set on the Greek islands. Our color palette has already been released and if you have not yet downloaded your copy of the fabric requirements, you are free to do that. It is on the main page of the Murder Mystery Quilt website and also appears when you log in. When you first visit the Murder Mystery Quilt site, you will see a tab in our menu that says Member Sign In. You will be automatically redirected when you click that tab to a blog style page that has a sidebar. If you are a mobile user, that sidebar gets pushed all the way to the bottom. So you'll have to scroll, scroll, scroll down to see the highlighted button that says download the 2024 fabric requirements where you will see our color palette for the 2024 murder mystery quilt. And I should apologize to everybody because all of our color names, almost all of our color names are food inspired. Um, a big part of loving Greece is loving Greek food for so many of us. And so there are colors like fig, pomegranate, olive, pistachio, um, and then some others like charcoal and lamb's wool. And I think that you will love choosing fabrics for this quilt. Those of you coming back year after year, because we are in year nine of the Murder Mystery Quilt, those of you who have been with us in the past will notice that our quilt is slightly smaller than it has been before. There's a reason for that. And you'll find out before the end of the year exactly what that reason is. What to expect for the Murder Mystery Quilt in 2024? Again, those of you who've been with us in the past already know this, but on the second Wednesday of every month, starting on January 10th, at noon Eastern, a new block pattern and a new chapter will be available for you on the Murder Mystery Quilt. So your job is to arrive at the website, click Member Sign In, give it a second to log you in, and then you will see there at the top, usually below our sticker posts. So you scroll down just a little bit and you'll see the month and the name of our chapter. When you click that, just like visiting a blog back in the olden times of the internet, you will see some information and a photograph of our most recent block. You can download by clicking on it and adding it to your device or printing it out. Now, you should know that the downloads on the Murder Mystery Quilt website for the purposes of site security are what's called a forced download. What that means is that on a lot of websites, when you open a link for a file, like a PDF, it just pops up on your screen and there it is. For the Murder Mystery Quilt site, they don't work that way. They actually send a message to your device and tell it to keep the file for you. So if you're on your desktop computer, you can usually see it go swoosh up into the browser, or you can see it appear at the bottom of the browser menu bar and you can click that button and there it is. But if you're on mobile device, we have learned over the years that it happens a little bit differently. Sometimes you click the button, you're like, well, where'd it go? How do I find it? I'm gonna tell you how to find it. If you're on an Apple device, you can pull down on your screen and it gives you a little search bar that will allow you to search your device for all the different things that are there. Sometimes I use that if I can't find a particular app that I know I want or need. When you're looking for a file and you type in keywords in the file name, your device will show you where it is. On mine, for example, if I'm on my phone, it'll add them to this folder called files that the phone just like decided I should have. I didn't put that folder there. It's part of the default system in your mobile device. It happens on iPads as well. But if you pull down and find that search bar and you type in murder, mystery, and usually like the name of the month, it's gonna give you results just like you're searching the internet, but you're only searching your device. From there, you can follow the path to discover where that file goes each month 
and it's always gonna go to the same place. That makes it easy for you to find. That way, you'll be able to see the whole library of your downloaded files and access them on your device at any time. All of our PDFs can be downloaded and printed onto paper if that's your preferred method of working, or you can open them directly on your device paperless and you can zoom in on various parts of the pattern to make it easier for you to read. That way you can adjust the scale to make it exactly the size you want for your text and you can see some of the details up close if you like. When you download our chapters, you also have some options. We usually give our chapter as a PDF, which means it's printable and readable. We've also made it available in the past as either an EPUB document or a DOCX, which is like a Word document. Word documents and EPUBs, although we've had less success using those in the past, and so we're not gonna do that in 2024, Word documents can be imported to your e-reader if that is how you would rather read the story. So we make it available as a .docx so that you can add that file to your mobile device and then add it to your Kindle or e-reader or read it on the Kindle app on your iPad if that's how you prefer to read it. Those files will all be available every month for you under the month and year and the chapter title for the month. Let's say though that you're having trouble. You can't log into your account or you can't download a file or you're having trouble finding something. The absolute number one best way to get in touch with us is to use the contact form on the Murder Mystery Quilt site. This is also in our menu. It's right next to the member sign in tab. It just says contact and it brings up a form on your laptop, desktop or device so that you can send us a quick note. Using the contact form gets all of those messages to like a clearinghouse email inbox so they can be sorted and sent to the individual who's best equipped to help you. We're actually a really small crew behind the scenes here. It's me and Lindsay who handles a lot of our data and all of our contact form messages. Christy who interacts with everybody on our Facebook groups and makes sure that all of your bonus clues are up to date. More on that in a second, but that's everybody. And we all work remotely from different cities in the United States. So we need all of your messages to go to one place to make sure that we get them. The other way you can be guaranteed that your message will get through to the right person is to take any email you have ever received from us and hit reply. All of those come directly to our inbox so that we can make sure to get back to you as fast as possible. If you want to make any updates to your account, you can always find your account by going to murdermysteryquilt.com slash account. And that will take you directly to your account where you can see all of the subscriptions you've had in the past, how many monthly payments you've made, if you have selected a monthly payment option, or if there's an issue with your account. If you can't get the information you need from there, use the contact form and we'll be happy to help you out. As long as you're on the Murder Mystery Quilt site, it's an amazing place to meet other quilters. Underneath every post, for each month where you get your block pattern and your chapter, you can leave comments. You can comment on other people's comments. You can ask questions, you can express concerns, you can do everything except share your personal information. Please don't do that, it's not safe for you. If you have questions for us about your account specifically, use the contact form or reply to any email we've ever sent. But if you wanna make friends, use the comment section beneath each post so that you can meet new people, introduce yourself and get excited about what's coming next. If you're already on Facebook, we have another option for you to meet other Murder Mystery Quilt members, and that is our optional Facebook Clue Cruise. You are not required ever to join a Clue Crew, but a lot of our members are already on Facebook, and so they have a feed that they're checking, and it's nice to see other quilters' posts pop up. You can join a Clue Crew, which is a smaller group inside the Murder Mystery Quilt community where you can make friends, ask for help, give suggestions and learn new techniques. One of my favorite things about the Murder Mystery Quilt, and I say this all the time, is that you guys really are the nicest quilters on the internet, true story. The most, the most generous, the kindest, the funniest. There's kind of like this 
Venn diagram of people who like murder mysteries and like puzzles and like quilting and it all overlaps in the murder mystery quilt and you are so kind and friendly to one another. So watching you guys meet one another inside our Clue Cruise is super fun for us. The other fun, fun thing that we do in the Clue Cruise is we occasionally do Clue Crew Challenges. This allows each Clue Crew to compete with the other three Clue Crews to win digital badges and prizes that you can apply to your account or to your quilt at the end of the year. For example, one year when we were doing Murder in Egypt, we set a challenge and said, go find something around your house and build a pyramid. It can be anything you've got in your house whatsoever, any type of pyramid you want. Build a pyramid, take a photograph, add it to Facebook so that we can see your work. And we had everything from marshmallow pyramids to one woman lived on a farm and stacked hay bales into a pyramid and took a photograph of herself standing on top of it. It is such an incredible way for us to get to know more about you, where you're from, what you're into, besides quilting, your personality, your sense of fun and whimsy, and then you get to win a prize at the end as well. Be aware though, if you are on Facebook, we don't use Facebook Messenger. And I apologize if that's like an easy way for you to communicate. It's just so many inboxes. I mean, we've already got an email inbox from the contact forum, plus our own personal email. If we also add Facebook Messenger, I worry that we will miss messages from you. And you will think that you are communicating with us, but it just doesn't come through. So we absolutely do ask that you use the contact form on the Murder Mystery Quilt site as your number one go-to for sending us messages about your personal information. But... If you're on Facebook and in a Clue Crew and you have questions about quilting or technique or fabric selection or care or the pattern or the mystery or anything else, not only do we have this warm supportive group that's ready and waiting for you, we also have some member moderators who participate in our Facebook Clue Crews to help guide you along the way. We have seven member moderators and they are the most generous, smart, insightful, experienced quilters you could hope to work with. They are monitoring our clue crews to make sure that your messages don't get lost in the shuffle. So if you ask something on Facebook that really should be sent through the contact form, they will gently remind you of that. And if you ask something on Facebook that needs an answer and can be answered and will benefit the group, they're gonna help you out and spread the word. Look for our member moderators. They're the helpers who are waiting in our clue crew to make you feel welcome. As we go through the year and you complete each of our quilt blocks, you will find that there is the opportunity at the end of 2024 to win a prize basket of glorious prizes that will fuel your quilting and your creativity. Those prize baskets are based on two criteria. One prize drawing comes from all the members of the Murder Mystery Quilt in 2024 who correctly guessed the identity of the killer. We have a deadline for submitting those guesses. It is midnight on New Year's Eve. So you'll have the whole year to read chapters of the mystery and see if you can figure out who the killer is. All the correct guesses go into a drawing and we pick a prize winner next January. Not January of 2024, but the next January. We do a second prize drawing as well for all the members of the Murder Mystery Quilt who completed all 12 blocks. And because we know that life happens and that you're a human person with other demands on your time, we've offered you a little bit of a carrot to encourage you along the way. We all finish together because we all started together in January. And so as the year goes along each month, if you complete your quilt block before the next quilt block arrives, you can earn a bonus clue to help you identify the killer in our mystery. Those bonus clues will arrive to you by email after you post your photograph to the album in your Facebook Clue Crew, to Instagram with hashtag MMQ24, or add it to an email and send it to us directly at MMQHQ. Those are the three ways that you can send in a photograph of your completed quilt block and earn a bonus clue by email each month. There's the opportunity for 11 bonus clues, one per month from January through November to help you solve the mystery. 
Speaking of bonuses, we have a bunch of those for you this year in 2024. For example, this is the very first year in the history of the Murder Mystery Quilt where you can actually do two mysteries in one year. We have re-released access to our Murder in Yellowstone Murder Mystery Quilt. The other bonuses we have for you are for everybody and they are already accessible as part of your membership. The first one is the How to Quilt video series. How to Quilt is a step-by-step -step learn to quilt video program that walks you through every detail of the quilting process from the very beginning to the very end, making a gorgeous sampler quilt. How to Quilt was shot specifically with members of the Murder Mystery Quilt in mind, we get lots and lots of folks join the Murder Mystery Quilt who tell us, I've never made a quilt before. This is my very first one. And I thought, oh my gosh, we can help you out. So I designed the Murder Mystery Quilt How to Quilt Sampler, specifically thinking of two groups of our mystery quilters. One are people who've never made a quilt before and really benefit from the guidance of working through a project from the beginning. And the other were folks who have made quilts before, but maybe not systematically, or maybe they haven't explored certain techniques because it never presented itself. A lot of us have learned quilting techniques as we needed them, and we didn't have a lot of opportunities to learn techniques that didn't pop up in the quilts we had selected. So we've got 12 sampler style blocks, which means each section of the how to quilt sampler is different. 12 classic quilt blocks, each with step-by-step -step video to guide you, along with links and posts to tools, tips, techniques, everything from choosing your fabric and color theory all the way through building your quilt, putting it together into the quilt sandwich, putting in the quilting stitches, and binding it at the end. You can start the How to Quilt video series today as part of your Murder Mystery Quilt membership. Log in on the Murder Mystery Quilt site, and then type in murdermysteryquilt.com slash courses, and you will see the How to Quilt sampler series there. You'll also see the Advent Calendar Project, which is another free bonus that comes along with your Murder Mystery Quilt subscription. If you are someone who likes to celebrate the season leading up to Christmas, an Advent Calendar is a great way to do that. And we have a Quilt As You Go template project to build a village with a path along the middle that guides you to the chapel on Christmas Eve. If you'd like to make our advent calendar, you can also find it under slash courses on the Murder Mystery Quilt site. Your very first block and mystery chapter for Murder in Greece will arrive on January 10th, which is the second Wednesday of January 2024 at noon Eastern time you will get an email alert in your inbox at the email address you used when you registered, letting you know that it's there. There's a link in that email that guides you back to the login on the Murder Mystery Quilt site. It doesn't include the file itself because that file is protected on our Murder Mystery Quilt site, but the email is an alert to let you know that the content is there waiting for you, ready for you to get going. I cannot wait to see you start to share right now your fabric selections, you searching through your stash to see what colors you're going to choose, stacks of fabrics as we lead up through the end of the year, your how to quilt samplers, your advent calendars, and all of your excitement as you join your Clue Crews and get going on the Murder Mystery Quilt for 2024. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. I can't wait to quilt with you.